Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's me, it's Danny Pat, or Minivic Laser Cats, and we are back with another gameplay video of Star Trek Online. I hope you all have been enjoying this Let's Play series so far. I know I've been having a blast with this game. It is the perfect video game for a Star Trek fanatic such as myself. If you have been enjoying this series so far, then if you haven't already, go on down to the description below and click on the very first link you see. That'll take you to a playlist of every single video I've done on this game for your viewing pleasure. Alright, without any further ado, let's continue on with our journey in the Final Frontier. <laughs> Okay, so we're going towards the uh, the thingy itself. The the station. That's not a freaking station. That looks like a castle. Like just just look at it. It does. It looks like it looks like a stinking castle. Don't deny me that. Cuz you're wrong. Well, you're not wrong, but you're wrong. <laughs> um let's be careful though. We don't want to get too close apparently. Um Okay. Um. Okay. Ah. Okay. The tachyon grid perimeter. Oh. If we're detected by it, that will definitely alert the Remans. Yeah. Okay. So let's just let's just take it slow. Take it slow. Not that slow. Uh, um. God dang it. Okay, uh, stop. Whoa! Okay, never mind, that wasn't as close as I thought. Okay. The satellite's in maintenance mode. We can pass through the net. Okay, um. Pass through the net. And here we go. Alright, head for the docking entrance. Now, where's that? I don't see no docking entrance. Right, enter the station. Yep, let's do it. Here we go. Picking up some unusual oh. energy readings. We'll need to explore the accessible interior areas and see what we can find. Looks like there's another access conduit across from us. We'll have to think three-dimensionally in here. Sensor readings are also picking up a few scattered life signs. Okay. Oh, I thought we were going to be going on foot. Apparently not. Uh, it's, is this going to be another uh, another completely spacecraft mission? I mean, I'm okay with them. I just, I just, you know, I pr I prefer on foot missions because they're fun. Hail shuttle. Okay. Um, that didn't do anything. Okay, let's just uh, keep going about our business then. Aha! So I'm assuming over there, that's where we get in. Okay, careful. Oh, crud. Oh, jeez. Ow, ow, oh, no. Ow. 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 Ow, stop it. That hurts. Target it. Jeez. Want to die? Ow. Oh, that hurts. Okay. Oh. Wow. Okay, so that could have... That could have gone far worse, but, uh... Thankfully it didn't. All right, scan the bulkhead doors. Let's do that. The doors are a massive set of interior bulkhead doors. They're segmenting the different parts of the base. Possibly a safety measure in case something went wrong in one of the central areas. Access appears to be controlled by use of security keys. We can disable it if we can find a code block that matches part of a security key. Okay. Uh, scan turret debris. Yeah, let's do that. This defense turret was hooked into part of the security network. There's a security code in its subsystem. Code block 6750. All right, I will remember that. Is on a rotation. Each code block matches a piece of one key. Key in the appropriate code when the rotation matches to it. Uh oh. a code on the wrong rotation will probably invalidate that code. So be careful with the timing. Okay, so why don't we try this one first? That's it. Well done. Oh, good, we good. We should be able to bypass the system and gain access now. Alrighty then. Alright. Let's go in. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That looks dangerous. 
microgravity storage containers. Skinny EPS conduits. There's still power in most of the station. Some of these conduits are damaged. Keep an eye out for energy discharges. Okay, are you talking about those green lightning things? What? Man, I don't even know who you are. Go away. Right, scan containers. Yeah, let's do that. Microgravity storage crates. Mostly construction supplies. No weapons okay. or unusual energy signatures. Um, I said examine the abandoned fighter. I don't even know where it is, but all right. All right, where am I? Oh, geez. Hold on a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Um... Oh, proceed deeper into the vault. Um, I'm not seeing any green stuff that marks where I'm supposed to go, so I guess we'll just keep going the way the way we're going. Yeah. Oh boy. Um, this doesn't look good. Um. Okay, I got. Uh, guessing we're gonna have to fight our way through these. Um. Oh no! I think I is this is this what I think it is? Well, ow, Jay! Stop! Let me throw. Yeah. Hey! No! Oh no! He's got a tractor beam. Get them! I right, get get this guy. Get this guy first. No, that guy! God damn it! Do as I say. Okay, we're gonna freaking die, I bet. Um. Uh, okay. Uh. No. Oh. Okay. Uh. Oh, we destroyed them all. Oh no, we didn't. Uh, might might as well get them because they're gonna see us. Oh, these guys are weak. <laughs> Not even a challenge. All right now, let's go up in between these things. All right, let's let go. Um. Okay, stop. That's a Borg spear. The what the? Must have used this base as a storage facility and research area for Borg technology. No. All right, let's scan that spear then. Scan the Borg spear. Analyze electrical discharges. Electrical discharges, probably from ionization leaking from the spear and research nodes. We should be cautious about flying too close to them. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Glad you told me that. Like it's been put to sleep. It's not the source of the strange readings that long-range scans detected. Looks like the spear's hooked into part of the local systems network. We should be able to exit through the other doors now. Probably a safety precaution to keep them locked. Okay. Um, all right, now where to? Uh-huh, so somewhere behind us. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Never mind. I was looking at the mouse. Oops. Okay. Uh, so we keep going forward, it seems. Yeah, but where? Um. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's be careful here. Right, where are we supposed to go? Oh, careful, careful, don't want to crash. Oh dear. That would be that would be bad. Uh yeah, I was not aware of that. Okay. Um Jeez, where the heck am I going? Okay, um Okay, turn all the way back, just like that. New respawn point. Maybe it's underneath this big thing. Okay, uh, let's go down here. Ow! Oh, oh okay, that's that's where we need to go. Got it. All right. Oh. All right. Let's go. Oh, gee. Oh my God! You missed the door. God damn it! Stop! Stop! Holy crap! You stink at flying. Ah. Well, that was that was a little embarrassing. I'm gonna be honest. No, there's no shuttles here. Ow! Ow! Stop! Ow! That hurts. 
Why you bastards die? Ugh, that really hurts and I don't like it. Ah! Aren't the Raymans gonna be concerned about these explosions? I mean, because I, I don't know, I just, I, I feel like that'd be a little bit suspicious. Like, if, if stuff was exploding in my castle, I'd be like, yeah, what's going on here? That's not normal. Unless it's normal for Remans to blow stuff up. Quiet in this area. Too quiet. Yeah. I don't like it. Oh, jeez. Pick you up unusual energy readings from the other side of that pillar. Okay. Uh, Phaleron reactor. Now I wonder what this is. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Whoa, holy crap. Okay, let's not go full speed next time. Oh. This is disturbing. We're looking at a facility used to build Thaleron weapons. If the Remans have infiltrated this base, they may be trying to secure those weapons. Probably. Uh oh. Our intruder finally arrives at the heart of the matter. Have you seen all that you came to see, little spy? Who are you? Does it really matter? Call me Obasek. If a name is that important to you. Now, what are you doing here, Obasek? That should be obvious. I intend to make use of this station to further my agenda. Your presence, however, is a bit more curious. I expect that you are operating under the shroud oh. of Empress Sela, whether you realize it or not. Neither of us is supposed to be here, I suspect. Never rely on the noble intentions of spies and thieves, Captain. And you and I are either one or the other. Oh, diplomacy. I have to use this again. Okay, since we are on similar footing, the least we can do is show courtesy. I appreciate your level-headedness in an unfortunate situation. As you must have surmised, though, I have already located the Thaleron weapons that I need. One of my ships has completed transporting them, and soon we shall make our first strike against the Romulans in our war for liberation. Sadly, we cannot trust any outside powers to ally with us. Our freedom must be won by our own hands. The Federation has always promoted freedom. Uh, while I cannot condone the use of Thaleron weapons, I can empathize with your plight. Your honesty under pressure is refreshing. Lesser beings would be scheming to learn my plans or begging for mercy. Your intellect and discretion do you credit. Okay, uh... Uh, the use of Thaleron weapons will have lasting repercussions. Deal with the future when it arrives. For me, there is no tomorrow until my people are free. However, I respect your commitment to your position. It's a shame we are at cross purposes. Indeed. I am afraid our time is at an end. My associates have already finished loading the Thaleron weapons that we need, and I have other operations to manage. I think we both know what happens now. May your death be quick and valorous. Oh, you bastard. Okay. Alright, everybody. That'll do it for this Star Trek Online Let's Play video. If you haven't already, then please check out my channel via the very last link in the description below. I have videos of Team Fortress 2 and World of Warcraft, as well as a few non-gameplay videos that I'm sure some of you may find interesting. Do that if you're interested, and as always, thank you all so much for watching. I'll be seeing you in my next video. Laser Cats rule. Thank <laughs> you.